Hey guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here, bringing you a pretty funny video that some people have been making. I know Canada Coaster fan, very good YouTuber. He has a little over a thousand subscribers, I believe. He made a video about which amusement park would make the world's largest Taco Bell, and I'm making that Taco Bell concept a little bit crazier here. And I'm thinking of cool amusement park ideas and these are five awesome amusement park ideas. Some of these kind kind of make sense, and I know this will probably guaranteed not happen, but it would be pretty hilarious if one of these amusement parks actually exists in the way future, to the near future. The first is a restaurant-themed amusement park, and restaurants are always great. And why not make a whole restaurant-themed amusement park? Because there's so many very good restaurants and one section would be a Taco Bell section, and I think it would be an intimate impulse because tacos are half of a coaster, or half of a full sandwich, so, yeah. I don't think you guys get it. McDonald's, I think it would be Gravity Group Wooden Coaster because the M, each, each part of the M represents an airtime hill, so I think that would be a Gravity Group Wooden Coaster. The Culver section, why not? Just theme it to Scoopy, who's the Culver's mascot. They can just make a the Coma Junior coaster. For Buffalo Wild Wings, this is a very good restaurant. Has some great wings and chicken and stuff. A bunch of cool food there. I think they could have in that section a B&M wing coaster because chicken wings. Why not theme a B&M wing coaster to chicken wings? I think that would be pretty funny and a pretty cool concept as well. And for the final restaurant, Pizza Hut. I think an intimate launch coaster with near miss elements through Pizza Hut. It's like a crazy inversion or something. Through Pizza Hut restaurants around the Pizza Hut section of the park. It would be pretty funny and overall a pretty interesting concept. But... The next one I have is an NBA Players theme park. Yeah, NBA Players. I, I'm a very big fan of the NBA. I really like the NBA. Probably my favorite major sports league. And I have four different sections here. First is Le the LeBron James section. I know everyone calls him the king. And I think they can make the king of coasters, a.k.a. the tallest coaster in the world. But the Michael Jordan section would have a 415-foot tall B&M Stratocoaster, which would be AKA the Goat of Coasters. Give it a few great airtime moments, maybe around 5 to 10 airtime moments, sweet overbanks, and amazing an amazing drop as well as an amazing view. And you easily have the best coaster in the world, period. The Steph Curry section, slash Del Curry, slash Seth Curry, the, the Curry family, I think a B&M Hyper with 20 different airtime hills going through basketball hoops because the Splash Brothers, the Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry, Seth Curry, Del Curry, including Klay Thompson, KD, Draymond Green, they all like to swish three-pointers. And why not a B&M Hyper with 20 different airtime hills through actual giant basketball hoops? And the final section is a Derrick Rose section with an intimate Stratocoaster that breakdowns breaks down every hour. Yeah. Because Derrick Rose, in the 2012 NBA playoffs, he got injured. And then he's been injured a ton with the Bulls, but then he got traded to the Knicks, and he's been good there. So, yeah. An intimate Stratocoaster-themed Derrick Rose that breaks down every hour seems about right. The next park is a B&M... A B&M-themed amusement park. Bulger and Mavilar, very good coaster manufacturer, my favorite coaster company. Their coasters are very nice looking. They have great elements. Some people consider some of their coasters to be the best in the world, like Fury 325, Leviathan Behemoth at Canada's Wonderland, as well as many others, like Kumba. I can just go on and on, but if it was B&M coasters only, some of these models wouldn't even exist yet, but would come out at this place. A classic wing coaster and a dive coaster, along with a launched wing coaster 
flying coaster invert. You can also add an old school invert and modern invert, a floorless coaster, a standard coaster, a sit down looper, hyper model, a hyper BM hyper model under 200 feet, a BM hyper coaster, a BM giga, and a stratocoaster in the 400 foot range, which could possibly be the best in the world. Then there would be a family invert for the younger ones and a launched flying coaster. And the next park I'm predicting is a roller coaster park themed two launch coasters with launch coasters only, including a B&M launched wing coaster, RMC launched Woody, Intamin Blitz, Intamin Family launch coaster similar to Cheetah Hunt, a family launch coaster from Mac Rides similar to Manta at SeaWorld San Diego, a throwing launch coaster from Mac Rides, which would also be something similar to Helix, a Premier Ride Skyrocket 2, which is the clone launch coaster of the park, and an Intamin Strata coaster, a coaster that looks like an Intamin Strata, but could be in different height ranges, in the 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 foot ranges, or Intamin Accelerator coaster, as you guys would prefer. And... The final one of these is Chicago sports teams, and I'm a very big fan of the sports teams in Chicago because my home park is Six Flags Great American. I'm a very big fan of sports teams in Chicago, very big fan of all these teams. The Chicago Sky is a part of the WNBA, if you haven't heard of that. It's a basketball professional basketball association that women get to play basketball, and it's a pretty cool league, very big fan of this team. Polar coaster at a height of 605 feet because it would be super high in the sky. I don't think you guys get that. The next coaster would be in the Chicago White Sox section with a GCI wooden coaster that tap travels through two giant socks. Yeah, two giant socks. I think this would be an interesting ride if it traveled through two giant socks and it would be a wooden coaster with crazy turns because the socks have a lot of twists and turns. They win sometimes, they lose quite a bit. The next section would be a the Chicago Cubs section and if you might not know this, they won the World Series in 2016 and I'm very happy for the Cubs. I really hope they go back to back. But overall, the Coma Kitty coaster for the Cubs I don't know why I'm giving them a kitty coaster, but best I could think of. Theme it to their mascot, I guess. I don't know. Bulls section would be an intimate blitz coaster. The launches would be like the bulls ramming through buses would be each launch. I don't know. A Blackhawks section for the Chicago Blackhawks would be a B&M wing coaster, which would be the coaster that would fit well in that section. And the Chicago Bears section would be a gravity group wooden coaster, that travels through the trees because a lot of bears live in trees or near trees or in caves. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And I hope you guys like that pretty weird but hilarious video. Stay tuned for more videos.